So guys, I will be doing this collective reading while I complete this painting. And to add a feminine touch to it, I am wearing this lovely ruffle. It looks like a flower, a rose ruffle. And let me apply this beautiful red bindi. There you go. Festival vibe. So whosoever I'm channeling right now, you are actually experiencing a new reality. Yes, you are entering a new reality because of your devoted inner work and getting into surrender mode finally. It's not been easy for you all this while and this collective reading is here to help you join the dots. You had to go through some amount of karma and you realize that you are in the process of retrieving your stolen jewels. You are actually become very much aware of your gifts. There were some gifts that were gone in childhood because of abusive conditioning and narcissistic programming that came from a mix of narcissistic parenting, education and neighborhood, which means the physical location where you were living at. And this physical location is also based out of a frequency in that frequency whatever you see around you that's the stuff that's in that vibration as well now this year this year for those people who are experiencing it right now but it's a timeless reading those who resonate with this will be able to recognize the gifts that are given to you special gifts that are given to you by your masters by spirit guides by source but you have faced a lot of inner turmoil and challenges to reach to this place now there are two things happening in your mind right now for some of you people it's also related to money your root chakra healing your foundational healing because you have worked very hard throughout your life and you felt that you never got enough work or you never got enough recognition and maybe you've been in comparison mode as well but some of you actually deserve to get the money you have been desiring or get the love you have been desiring I mean some of you are even out of the desire phase like you don't desire it anymore but you're very much aware about the things that match with your vibe I'm also getting this really crystal clear very crystal clear download that there is there have been either one or more people who made you feel like they stole something from you now maybe they stole love from you maybe they stole your promotion or career growth or in general they stole friends something which was important for you something which was dear to you you have faced so many challenges and you've lost so many things and many a times you also sacrifice things for other people's happiness that you've become a person with great character now and you realize that lord and masters and spirit guides are above petty mistakes that you made small mistakes that you made for which you had yourself punished yourself a lot your mistakes are more like childlike mischiefs that's it but the reason why you met these people who stole from you your energy or joy your peace of mind these people actually were sent to your reality to make you realize that there are really bad people out there some people are acting like evil people they're so selfish they may be doing it unintentionally they could be programmed to do so or they could be in that stage mental state you know that they think that this is what i want and i should get it by hook or crook and they saw you as a gullible person maybe whatever it was god sent you these people and these experiences for a reason who is this person really it can be anybody there is no foundations I mean relationship wise they could be from family they could be from friend circle they could be from office they could be from your business if you're into business they could be someone from the neighborhood these experiences can come in different shapes size forms situations but of course people have played that role they've played their part 
they've played that character in your story that person who takes or who wants to take everything away from you just because you look very nice doing it or it is a natural thing for you it is a reality it is your reality you are original like that there is nothing mixed up or fake about you you are who you are and you were not expecting whosoever this person was to do this to you it could have been also a lover they stole your joy your happiness your trust and you know these things they create blockages in your chakra system and these blockages need to be healed these blockages need to be removed because there's so much trauma and ptsd that people go through after they encounter these situations and these situations have of course an energetic impact in your life i'm also being shown that this could be a person who distracted you from living your best life or this person could have been wearing a mask all this while they were acting like your friend or this person could be having this habit of constantly acting like a victim so a typical covert narcissistic person you definitely did not know about their motives but now you do because their true face is out the mask is off the mask is gone the two real face is out there in the open and you feel that you can never trust this person nor you can trust anyone like them again in your life this is a lifelong lesson for you for some of you people the thief could have stolen physical things like money or jewelry or maybe property but as i can see the energy of this person it's a hardcore cold-blooded narcissistic person they never see anything wrong in their actions they always have something to justify like they can always say oh i did this because of this i did this because of so and so reason my reason is very genuine when and they can kill someone and they can say i did it because of this reason and my reason is actually right and i'm not saying that people don't make mistakes i'm not saying that accidents don't happen they do but this is surely not an accident or a mistaken situation or some kind of misunderstanding this is clearly someone doing something intentionally and it has given you a soul shock there is also a lot of drama around this person this person is very dramatic and they always try to act like they are the savior the savior and the victim at the same time so family i want to tell you guys that this is an auto reading which means that the reading came to me as a downloaded message when the reading comes to me there is a trance like situations i can have tarot cards and i might just have a pen and a notebook so i'm able to jot down all these things and when i speak about it when i share this downloaded message there can be other things that can also come along so some of these things are happening live and some of these things came to me as auto reading this is not about zodiac signs or sun signs because anybody can be this person their star sign has nothing to do with it this person is karmically connected with you there's a reason why you are entangled with this one person or more than one person in your life if not materialistic stuff then this could be a person who stole people from you they stole your family members from you they stole the ones who liked you they created a bad image about you they were always gossiping about you they were always bad mouthing you they were doing a lot of these things step by step like a slow poison this person was working to eradicate your peace of mind from your life but karma is a bitch and bitches are very loyal dogs and bitches are very loyal maybe that's why they say karma is a bitch so karma is going to take care of everything and this person no matter what they did they're going to get it back in some cases it was 
happening over many years in some cases it was not that long for some of you the intensity is still being felt by you but we don't want to just lament here and cry over spilt milk we are here for transformation and all the people who resonate with this reading this is your time for transformation your transformation process in a certain area is literally complete and that i know by the death card the first card that i picked out for this reading is death which marks the end of your old self and the beginning of your true new self you you have shed layers of conditioning that no longer serve you by dealing with these energy vampires you also reclaiming your power because you're retrieving the lost aspects of your soul those stolen jewels from childhood now restored to their rightful place within you i want you to close your eyes wherever you are just come to a meditative position you can relax on a chair you can sit on the floor in lotus position and you can also lie down if you want to because when you reclaim this power i want you to imagine yourself as a healed inner child as a healed child who has this inner beautiful childlike aura you are the adult who is taking care of your inner child and imagine that this feeling all these things that people stole from you are being restored to you back to you keep your eyes closed and i'm going to talk about the queen of swords with queen of swords you have clarity and discernment you are able to see through illusions and protect your energy wisely The next thing that I want you to think about is divine protection. Imagine that you are in a bubble of light. Imagine you are in a bubble of light. You realize that your spirit guides and masters have always been there. This protective bubble of light is protecting you from greater harm and ensuring that you could safely reach this point. In case you're driving a car or you're doing something else while listening to this collective reading or you are either watching this video and you feel that the auto painting is also soothing you making you feel creative and joyful and happy then to just think about these points as i said you face some challenges when all these things were happening to you for some of you this is still happening it's present continuous but you might have in the past resisted divine guidance now you understand that those lessons were essential for your growth and this is the reason why you are letting go of the resentment you are no longer angry at god ancestors family or society forgiveness and understanding has set you free from resentment darling if you are unable to forgive and forget someone or move on from someone then just write down about that person in your journal or that situation and write down in complete detail write down fully what irks you why are you not able to forgive them and you'll definitely get more clarity whosoever resonates a lot with this reading you have matrix awareness now you've seen a lot of details of the matrix reality and you have detached from its distractions you no longer give energy to negative influences or hatred and if you feel that you're 50% here you have 50% started protecting yourself from these influences or hatred or envy or any negative negative element then also it's a great achievement it's a big deal because if you have reached till here you'll definitely keep moving ahead some of you have also accepted your destiny you have surrendered to your fate and your purpose knowing that you're guided and you're supported every step of the way the next card that i see is 5 of wands and with this 5 of wands you're getting a sign to heal your inner as well as outer conflicts you don't want to stop because of these people places situations things i mean can you change these people's mindset can you change how they want to be you don't want to waste your energy anymore 
The next card is the sun. It's from the major arcana. It's one of my favorite cards. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. It's a beautiful piece of art. This tarot card represents the deep inner joy that you have found while doing your inner work and while all of this healing is happening in your life. You know that you're still going to continue healing yourself. It's not going to stop right here. But you are more aligned with your authentic self. You're radiating positivity. You have a glow up and people, some people especially can see your light. I also see that you understand the divine energies much better and I'm being shown that definitely there are people who support you now. There are genuine people who uplift you and you celebrate these relationships. Three of Cups over here is not just a regular random celebration, rather it's also a celebration of who you are. Though it is strong feminine energy visibly, but you also see the red color of the root chakra, which shows to me financial independence and more understanding about money. Now, let me tell you guys, for this reading, this collective reading, the intention is for all of you to let you know that it's time to heal your sacral chakra by releasing guilt and shame that you have been carrying in your system whosoever triggered it doesn't matter now it's your choice to heal it right it's also time to heal the root chakra by healing money blocks and that you can do by literally trying just trying to do or achieve whatever you love and you have to really put down everything on paper like you have to make a list of things what is it that you naturally gravitate to do it has to be it has to be not just about fame or popularity because we live in a very toxic reality i mean it can be toxic for some people where you have all these social media applications look at instagram it's all about envy it's all about showing to others how cool you are how amazing you are everybody is trying so hard to look good and they're actually seeking other people's validation and I feel everybody in reality is so miserable because I am doing counseling for a lot of people. I do therapy for a lot of people and I know that people are not what they project. People are showing something else on the social media or if it's not social media, then people are doing it in their physical reality as well. And you should love to do whatever you want to do. And some of you might complain or might say that I don't have the resources available to be creative or to do what I love. But let me tell you, you always can look around and create resources. I can give you one example from my childhood. Maybe it helps some of you. When I was very young, I loved doing artwork and i remember this was a time when my parents were going through some kind of financial issues and i was an empathetic child i never wanted to trouble anyone and i knew that if i would ask for the glue glue is like very basic right i mean i needed a lot of glue for my artwork and i knew that if i'm gonna ask my parents for it I knew that they might not say no to me, maybe they'll get it for me, but I needed lots and I really wanted to do it, whatever things I wanted to do. I was this very determined kid even at that point in time. I must tell you guys that my father was extremely supportive of anything artistic I used to do. He loved my singing, he loved painting, everything I did, writing. And I remember he used to go to really far off places to get the best oil paints for me. And I never forget the effort that he used to make. Once I was in Nepal and my dad literally went to the border of India and Nepal to get colors for me. For that age, back in those days, people used to normally use watercolors or poster colors. I was quite young, but he never said no to these things. It was his idea to homeschool me. And I'm just uh, sharing all these things. I feel this is the healed masculine energy speaking from within. And 
that there were lots of negative things also happening at the same time but it really doesn't matter because all those negative experiences have really shaped uh, all of us and i feel many of our parents have tried to provide us the creative avenues and expressions it's really unfortunate that we also had to face abuse of some kind in our childhoods but this is the time to heal it so i urge you all to look for all the good things that your parents have done for you and release their narcissistic side from your dna i know some of you may not be able to do it which is why we have therapies that help you release these negative patterns these stubborn patterns from your dna and some of the people who are doing individual healing they end up negotiating or compromising with the narcissistic people too soon too early because they get like over excited when the narcissist get back to them or show like a red rose to them or a white rose to them so these are the things that come handy when you do therapy you know when to accept them when not to accept them actually dealing with the narcissistic people is a lifelong thing it can be a lifelong thing unless you learn how to heal those aspects of you when you do so the same narcissistic people turn empathetic towards you and i have seen online a lots uh, lots and lots of coaches they say that narcissism cannot be healed i think that's the biggest bullshit that they are selling to you people and they are full of anger and anxiety themselves they have not been on the other side they have not healed their relationships with their own narcissistic parents yet but as i say this yes narcissism is so painful and it is so confusing that lots of people cannot heal it so they prefer to hate narcissism but it is not something that should be hated upon because if you have hatred and you have not forgiven people and you don't forgive practically not just theoretically then you cannot shift from your current reality in order to quantum leap you have to fully release your old reality which is redundant for your growth any which way so at that point in time i had to create glue somehow and i went into my kitchen and i started looking for things that can help me create glue and guess what i did i found the flour the rice flour and i made glue out of it and i must say that it gave me the type of business acumen nobody around me had at that age just because i wanted to simply do what i loved at that point in time that artwork had to be done there were other art projects also which the school used to give to us but this was my own personal project at home and after i did whatever i did many years passed by and i was just doing some artwork and i found out that people who stick up posters on walls actually use the flower as glue they create glue out of the flower i was really shocked with this piece of information cuz that time when i was creating this glue there was no youtube or nothing you could watch internet became a thing just few years back i think 10 10 12 years back cuz i know that i was wanting to share something on youtube youtube was pretty new and i was working with a digital marketing company very big giant actually media giant and i had this really interesting work profile over there even at that time i was very young i landed that job despite not being an mba holder or this degree holder or that degree holder i mean i had the basic degree and i was studying side by side still i was obviously more interested in the paranormal and supernatural world even at that time but i never forget about how i created glue 
from the kitchen products whatever was there in front of my eyes and i'm sharing this with you that you should also be unstoppable if you want to paint pictures you say that i cannot paint pictures i don't have colors i don't have a nice brush blah 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 but look at all the paintings that people have done the early men our ancestors have done and these are like masterpieces even now those people they didn't have acrylic colors or oil paints or even canvases we have a lot of those things and still we are so negative they didn't have those resources and they still managed to do such wonderful things look at the buildings that they have created some of them are still standing strong this example is given to you so that you are inspired to remove everything aside and follow your heart and no matter how many limiting beliefs you see around you but you try to do whatever best you can do for the things you love for the things that you truly love and for the things that your soul your soul can sense it like you feel happy your soul is happy so this heals your root chakra and if you want to heal further even in your solar plexus then the best way to do this is by having faith in god and not being a doer just remembering that you're just a medium and you're here to observe even yourself your own self whatever you do there will always be challenges and difficulties but you always have to remind yourself that god is with you your spirit guides are with you your masters are with you and this twin flame journey is not for every tom dick and harry you have to be special you must be special to be on this ascension journey so nothing should stop you on the path of becoming who you truly are so the three of cups is bringing you more confidence and bringing you maybe ideas because you have a relationship with the ideas as well and the queen of swords is helping you get a balanced mind mind you can see beyond surface appearances and you're guided by truth and wisdom and you have this discernment and this discernment helps you to understand what is wise and what is not wise in some cases even choosing to be stressed out or anxious or worried is not the ideal thing to do all of this is going to help your inner child the light of the sun the sun card reawakens your inner child remember and it is going to restore the innocence and happiness that was suppressed in the past when you were suppressed because of your programming as a child you became more open for these type of attacks by other people but there's always a reason so you should not be fearful of conflict and five of wands is being shown to me like of course there will be challenges but these challenges don't deter you five of wands was the last card of this collective reading and i know some of you might think okay the last card was five of wands it may not be so positive no that's not correct not all cards should be seen as negative just by the picture of it we need to see the placement of the card as well this card came after sun it came after death the first one was death it came after five of wands and it also came after the queen of swords so queen of swords gave you the confidence that you needed the wisdom that you needed followed by the sun which gave you your divine gifts i mean i could telepathically actually pick it up that some of you might get a bit worried with the last card so this last card became the penultimate card actually now the ultimate last card is eight of wands that was my confirmation that this is definitely a positive reading because you got all those gifts so that when you are in conflict situation especially when you get three of sword situation when you meet people whose only role in life is to give other people heartbreaks and then you are in this five of wands kind of situation then at that point in time you need to remember that you're going to get 
swiftly out of it and all of this actually helps you in the realm of money and career yeah can you believe that even the heartbreaks even the bad relationships the relatives the mockery they made out of you everything is indicating and it's pointing to a period of swift progress and exciting opportunities simply because mentally you're not gonna allow this negative energy to take over you you're gonna observe it like any other thing the more neutral you become towards these negative situations, the more neutral you become to these negative situations thrown on your path, the faster you actually unleash the magic within. So yes, my lovelies, you are definitely in a zone where you can accept or recognize your divine gifts and you realize your value you can acknowledge the lessons your guides have given to you and you're stepping into your avatar self what is an avatar self so basically when our merkabic field starts working and it will only work when all of the energy in the chakra is able to flow properly 72,000 nadis nadis are basically channels they help in the navigation of energy and the three main nadis are the left one the right one and the central one which is the ida pingala and shushmana nadi the word nadi does not mean nerves nadis are basically pathways or channels of prana in the system you are entering the phase of avatar self and avatar self means that you don't really have to make so much effort to be who you are and in case you feel that you're being challenged or some difficulties being thrown at you then you can navigate via it or through it much easily and even if you have to express anger or some kind of emotion that is labeled as a negative emotion i don't think you'll ever be sad about it because it's not about being happy or sad it's about being authentic it's about being who you are I'm getting this clear message that as you step into your avatar self, the highest version of you, and you begin to embrace your purpose with a newfound authority, the inner authority, this will help you see the heartbreaks and the past pain very differently. You're going to realize that they're just meant to build your strength and compassion. They're not your weaknesses. They are truly your gifts. Whatever happened has happened. I'm also being shown that you have a lot of gratitude and trust. Like obviously when these things happen, then the gratitude is going to build up. The trust is going to build up. Even if it's 50% right now, that's a very good place to be in. Doesn't matter how much you resonate with this reading. It's a timeless reading it's going to have an impact on you once you listen to it and you can save this collective reading and you can listen to it again and you can also get into personal sessions with me if you have questions or you want to work on yourself you want to do inner work you can get into spiritualistic healing distant energy healing therapy there are lots and lots of courses lovely courses amazing courses that you can enroll into and there's a new one that i've added which is law of attraction it's called the real law of attraction which you can learn in four sessions for different sessions in between there will be gaps and there will be assignments however my humble request to you all is kindly do not share whatever your situation is in the email when you book the sessions it can be a reading session it can be a therapy session but we will talk about it when i meet you as a clean slate because then that helps me to use intuitive tools and spiritual modalities in a much better way for your own benefit so the whole point of this transition or this transformation is to make you be a person who can receive better increasing gratitude both for the guidance and the hardships that you've received from time to time because this has taught you what you need to learn here on planet earth you're not here just to live this earth 3d life you know that by now whosoever resonates you do know that you have a purpose 
and every card that I've spoken about, it reflects your alignment with your soul's mission, which is about serving humanity as a wise, gentle caretaker. And okay, you don't have to be gentle all the time. Sometimes you can be very disciplined, but you're also someone who embodies unconditional love. You know how to practice unconditional love or you're learning how to do it and you're embodying the strength, the clarity that you have worked on. You have really worked hard on this to attain it. There are difficult days, there are easy days, but it's a part of your ascension journey. Please remember, ascension is a lifestyle. Inner work happens till the end of our life. But we are here to observe. We are here to watch the show. Don't forget that. Remember, everything is a show. It's all illusion. It's Maya. So why get so deeply entangled in the Maya? But we can use this Maya to merge with source energy, to integrate with source. I mean, there has to be a reason why this great illusion exists. Because I was given a download when I was really young and I remember everybody was talking about Maya, how Maya is harmful, how Maya can destroy your life, how Maya can ruin your life. And I was having a lot of these questions. Then I saw a Devi, I saw a beautiful woman as Maya and Maya said that I'm also the gatekeeper. So the ones who are able to understand the great illusion, who are able to decode the matrix, those are the very people I'm going to give this gift of divine vision to. I'm not going to give it to every Tom, Dick and Harry. I'm going to give it to people who deserve it. So yes, there you go. Maya also is there to help you out. So all the people who resonate with this channeling to a great deal, there are some very positive messages for you. And you can see this as divine validation because divine validation is the only validation that we all must seek. And as a medium, I'm really grateful to Source that I'm able to share this with you. First and foremost, you are a very positive being of light. And you have reached to a certain stage now with all the inner work that you've done that you're actually very close to your actual true self. Your magic can be seen by others. You are a Tathagat which means you speak very consciously and with awareness and your words have meaning and power and purpose and whatever you think about okay you want to do something nice for anyone or for yourself this is the time you can achieve it you are entering a phase of your life the very reason why you're born for be kind to yourself and give yourself a pat on the back because you have come a long way and you've really done things that other people would not have dared to do Believe it, this is the message for you. People would not have dared to do the things that you have done because you did not take any shortcuts. You always chose source, the love of source above everything else. And this is the reason why source is with you. You always chose love over everything. No matter how many options you were given, anything that was false, you never took it. You never went ahead with power or fame or money or anything which you felt was not going to serve you the purpose. Because you're not going to do things, whether it was in the past or it's now, you're never going to do things for the worldly world. You are a person of God. You are a light that other people seek. And I'm not saying this to massage your ego. I'm saying this to people who have heard this whole channeling, this collective reading. And now you understand. You understand what all has happened to you so far. The reason why you're in receiving mode is because you have been a giver. You've given so openly and with so much love to people around you that you're actually getting it back at the right divine timing because you also gave it to people at the right divine timing. 
it doesn't matter what people did with those things that you gave to them the love or the materialistic things but you gave selflessly some of you might be feeling very emotional by just listening to these words but let me tell you there is a nurturing energy and a provider energy around you you're not a greedy person you're not a selfish person you're a beautiful pure soul and god loves you for being so pure and loving and kind and compassionate towards everybody around you when you start understanding the culmination of your inner work you also know that you're extremely fortunate and blessed in the right way the things you did not get at a certain time it was best that you did not get it one love peace out and victory to ram mm -hmm.